All right, gonna show examples of satanic dragon imagery in the Vatican. You see, the Roman Catholic Church is not a Christian church. The Roman Catholic Church is an idolatrous pagan cult. There's all kinds of idolatry and heathenism and witchcraft inside the Roman Catholic Church. Roman Catholicism is a religion of idolatry. They prayed around their idols, they prayed around statues of this saint or statues of that saint, statues of Mary, statues of their false image of Jesus Christ. They are idolaters. Roman Catholicism is heathen, pagan idol idolatry. It's witchcraft. It's from the pit of hell. And I'm going to show some examples of this satanic dragon imagery inside the Vatican, St. Peter's Basilica. First, I'm going to show, first going to show some scripture on what does the Bible say. Who, who does the Bible say the dragon is? Okay. Revelation chapter 12, verse 9. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world, he was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Who is the dragon? It's Satan, the devil. But you see the Roman Catholic Church, they use the dragon to picture one of their one of their popes, one of their saints. Which is pretty accurate, you know, they're, they, may, they may not realize it, the lower down Catholics, the, the higher up ones, the higher F echelons, they realize, they, don't, they know what they're doing. But the lower down Catholics, they don't realize that it's an accurate depiction because the Pope is a servant of Satan. So it is accurate to use a dragon to depict the Pope because the Pope is a devil-possessed servant of Satan. Revelation chapter 13 verse 4. And they worshiped the dragon, which gave power unto the beast, and they worshiped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast, who is able to make war with him? Okay? Again, the dragon is Satan, and he's giving power to the beast. Who is the beast? The Antichrist. You read 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 8 to 10, Satan is given the Antichrist power. Okay? So here, by comparing scripture with scripture, we can see that, again, that Satan is the dragon. And finally, Revelation chapter 20, verses 2 to, th two to 3. What is Satan's fate at the end of the time of Jacob's trouble? Revelation chapter 20, verse 2 to 3. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years, and cast him into the bottomless pit, and shut him up, and set, the seal, set a seal upon him, that he, should, that he should deceive the nations no more, till the thousand years be fulfilled, and after that he must be, he must be loosed a little season. So, at the end of the time of Jacob's trouble, the dragon, Satan, is chained up by the angel and thrown into the bottomless pit which is i believe one of the compartments of the underworld which is a side issue i've done a video on the uh, underworld you can go check it out but uh the dragon is satan but the roman catholic church uses dragon imagery to in their in their saint peter's basilica to depict the popes so here's the first image i'll show of a crest of a pope i believe it's pope gregory they're depicting his crest where it has a dragon on the crest symbolizing that now again, it's an accurate depiction because the Pope is a servant of the devil. The Pope is a wicked, very, very wicked guy. The Pope is a servant of Satan, so it makes sense they're going to use a dragon to depict him. Now that again, the lower down Catholics will not, they don't realize the subconscious subliminal Illuminati messaging in that symbolism right there. But the higher up Catholics, they all serve the devil. They're just a bunch of Luciferians who, just a bunch of Illuminati Luciferians who serve the devil. So they know what they're doing full well. But they have this dragon image depicting Pope Gregory. One of their popes who is in hell right now, by the way, as is every pope before and after him that died in hell right now. Okay, here's the next picture. Uh, this is actually on the roof, the ceiling of of a part of the Vatican, part of the St. Peter's Basilica, where you have these uh, naked angels, these naked babies, supposedly depicting angels or cherubs. Because uh, cherubs and angels are two different beings, by the way. I'll just point that out. Cherubs and angels are two different beings. But you have these naked cherubs. Uh, which are obviously devils. Okay, you can, you can see that they're depicting devils, and then you have the image of the dragon, you know, with these devils surrounding him. Hmm. Interesting how they're depicting the satanic Illuminati symbolism at the Vatican. Why, would, if it's a Christian church, why are they using a dragon to, as decoration in their Vatican? Don't they know what the Bible says about a dragon? That it's Satan as I read in those verses. Well, no, because the Catholic Church, they worship Satan, the higher up ones do. The lower down ones, they're told that, the lower down uh, common laity, they're told that Satan is the enemy, but the higher up ones, they all worship Satan. They're, again, they're just a bunch of Luciferians. Here's the next picture of a dragon being used to depict Pope Gregory again. Again, they love using the dragon to depict Pope Gregory. And it's, you know, or they're using it to symbolize, and I'll put it that way, not depict him, but to symbolize as his symbol. 
But again, it's accurate because the Pope is a servant of Satan. But you have there the dragon statue there being used to symbolize Pope Gregory. You know, and by the way, calling him a Pope is blasphemy, by the way. Roman Catholicism is blasphemy. Like it talks about in Revelation 17, full of names of blasphemy. They're giving themselves titles of God. The term Holy Father, because the word Pope is Latin for Holy Father. The term Holy Father only belongs to God, according to John chapter 17, verse 11, which is the only verse where that, that word Holy Father appears. That term Holy Father, and it's referring to God the Father, not any kind of man. But you got the dragon there to depict, to symbolize Pope Gregory. Now here you got another picture of the fountain outside the Vatican with the dragon, you know, with the water coming out of the dragon's mouth. Hmm, kind of like how the dragon will give the Antichrist power to, you know, call it on fire and that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's a subtle Illuminati symbolism, subliminal depiction right there of the how the, event, how the events in the time of Jacob's trouble are going to play out with the Antichrist, the beast, and the false prophet. So you got the dragon there depicting that. Symbolizing who their god is. Their god is Satan, the god of this world, according to 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 4. He is the god of this world. So I just wanted to show you guys that. Satanic dragon Illuminati symbolism in the Vatican. The Vatican is just, the, the Vatican St. Peter's Basilica is just a temple for the Illuminati. It's a temple, a Luciferian temple for the Antichrist. You know, that's just the blunt and brutal reality of it all, okay? Roman Catholicism is not the faith once delivered unto the saints. Roman Catholicism is a satanic cult that contradicts this book, the Holy Bible. It's a full of idolatry names of blasphemy, like it talks about in Revelation 17. So don't be deceived by Roman Catholicism, and don't be deceived that they are worshiping Satan by depicting these dragons. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.